One of the greatest discoveries a man makes, one of his great surprises, is to find out that he can do what he was afraid he couldn't do. Famous words by the car giant Henry Ford. What's up everyone, it's your boy Richard Carbohaw with today's topic, how do I conquer fear? Fear is one of those words that comes up, you know, most likely in our lives a lot. Sometimes we feel certain emotions, sometimes we just say like, oh, I'm afraid to do this, or we think these emotions. An acronym that I've heard of it uh, said is false evidence appearing real. Another I've heard is fuck everything and run, which is pretty funny. <laughs> but over the years, as I've studied this concept of fear, many thought leaders talk about how it's non-existent. Is sometimes when we remove ourselves from the reality and put ourselves in a non-existent world, our mind starts working and, you know, the, a lot of negative things start pouring into our minds. And what's interesting, too, is how our brains function where it's always trying to protect us. So we're trying to do something different, something that's not comfortable, then it just starts questioning Hey, are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to move forward with this? You know, you've never been there. You know, it might be dangerous or whatnot. So there starts becoming like a mental barrier, like a wall that we must get through if we want, you know, what it is, you know, to build that next skill or to be get into that other career or to build a business, right? We need to get through, break through that wall. And yes, it's going to be uncomfortable, but why? Because we've never been to that other side of the wall. We've been all on this side of the wall. Therefore, we must break through that. A few things that I do to conquer this fear is one, I call it the fuck it syndrome. Yes, yes, yes. You could use it now, but I just say fuck it and I do it. In the past, it bit me in the ass, got me in trouble, went through some hardships, but guess what? Now I use it to my ability to better my life. And yeah, it's the fuck it syndrome. I've always wanted to skydive, for example. And one day I just said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And what's interesting is you're going up in a little plane. It's just like me going going up and you're, you know, your mind starts like, oh man, do I really want to do it? Now you, you have no option but to jump, right? Unless you really have a mental breakdown and, and whatnot, they'll probably leave you in the plane, but... You're in a tiny little thing and you know your mind starts messing with you. But it's one of those things saying, fuck it, making these videos, right? It's something that I don't have a studio, but I said, fuck it, I'm going to do it. And going into these videos or the creation of Leadership Empire, another thing that I use to break through or to conquer fear is I remove myself, right, from the, the equation, or where it's not about me anymore, it's about us or all of you who are watching these videos. I thought I know it's more important for me to create this video than for me to say, oh no, I'm scared to be on video or I don't have a studio or I don't know exactly what to date, what to say, how to construct a great video, whatnot. You see, that's that's not important. So I, I remove that equation or from my limiting beliefs or fears to create these videos because I know it's going to empower some individuals to break through limitations, to keep going, to never give up. The last thing I, I do is I continue to practice and get better and build that confidence because as you practice, whatever it is you're doing, you build that craft and it comes with saying, fuck it, I'm going to do it, right? And doing it anyway and doing it that way over and over and over and over you're going to build this confidence to where that anxiety or those little fears or if you ever heard like the butterflies in the stomach yeah like i've heard that many times when because uh, i do public speaking in stages guess what some of those things still exist i still get a little nervous but then i remove myself from that and say you know what i'm gonna go out there i'm gonna make it happen i freaking you know, they, they need to hear what I what I need to say because someone in that audience is going to get empowered and it's going to, you know, they're going to transform their lives, right? So I, I learned to just align 
everything but with practice, with continuous practice so I get better at it. So those are my top three things that I use to conquer fear. And remember, just like Henry Ford said, you know, this is one of the greatest discoveries that you'll find out. Whatever you're afraid of doing right now, you're going to later on, if you just break through, that you can do it. Right? It's going to be one of the greatest discoveries in life that you can do this, that it's possible. But the main thing is just to keep going and never give up. That's all for today. Thank you for, for uh, joining me. If you haven't, please click subscribe, share this message with anybody, comment if there's anything I could that could uh, help you with. If there's a topic that you want me to talk about, please make sure to comment as well. With that, love you. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.